so you, have, uh, you should not rape someone. You're saying if I was to get raped, I should carry out. Love your baby. You Which love, would totally you fuck up the life. child. Yeah. It would totally fuck up because her life. Yeah. That's, that's, she doesn't have the money or anything to support herself. Well, yeah. And yeah. also, I would have to literally stare at the face of my rapist when I would have a child. Like, that doesn't make sense. God can, can use that child as a blessing. Okay, God says that children are a blessing. So, even though there was a violent, evil act that occurred, which is the rape. The child is now a That man should be God, put to death, so not the child. You can be healed. That God can use that child to heal you and that you can love that child. But I don't think I could love that child because it would have the face of my rapist. But you, you should love the I child. Yes. So let me guys, ask you guys, yeah, why are you here today forward. at a high school and been inputting been. ideas into people's minds that and you're just forcing their ideal your ideals on them? Like why would you ever do that? Shouldn't it be the person's choice? What they believe? I don't have... I am totally supportive of people who would want to not get an abortion and carry out their pregnancy, but don't you think it should be the person's choice and not have those ideals forced upon them? Would it, would it be okay if we allowed them to make a complete choice and gave you the rest of the information other than what the culture has fed you? Because like you were saying today, that well, may, I, maybe I have to look at that child's face and maybe I can't take that. But we're here to say that we're all created in the image of God from the point of conception. And that child has done nothing to you to deserve death. It's done nothing to another woman to deserve death. The man who does such a thing, that wicked man deserves death, but not the child. And when you hold that child in your hand, it it's been proven. You, you can look up. Right. No, it's it's not. But see, you're you're you're, you're thinking that. I'm 110% right. positive. I would okay. be able to go to college. Raped, she would. Sure. Her life right, would be but ruined. but you see what you're doing. Not you're putting like you're putting your long. education and other things above a human life. You're valuing the things right, of this world above a human life. And what we're saying is, human life is the ultimate value that you get out of this life. The ultimate because God created us, all of us, in His image. And because He created us in His image, we have innate value. And I cannot hurt you. You or you, just because I desire to, just because maybe maybe if I hurt you, it would help me get to college faster. Maybe maybe doing those things, but I can't do that because we were created in the image of God and we have value because of that. And so I cannot just demean somebody else. I can't dishonor you. I can't do those things. So we want to share that truth but you, with you. You can. No. I can, I, I, right, right I can, oh, yeah. but I, but I can't do it because I love the Lord. You see, anybody can go and hurt you for any reason, but if they love the Lord, then what they have done is they have broken the God's commandments. They have gone against the very Creator God Himself. Now, if anybody at this school or anybody around here can go and hurt another person, we're saying that is wrong. That is absolutely wrong in all cases. But if you don't know God, if you don't know that God is the Creator, then anybody can go hurt anybody for any reason, and it's just your opinion, right? No it's just your opinion. See, he had an opinion, and as he rode by, he spewed his opinion and he kept going. Why aren't you yelling at him saying, why are you forcing your opinion on us? Because you agree with his opinion. Well, no, well, you're lurking outside research. our school standing right. and talking to anybody that passed and Right. I is there something and wrong with that? In your opinion, is there something wrong with us being able to share what we believe to be true? But no, see, if you but agree with I'm, it, if you agree with somebody else, you're saying like, woohoo, we're going we're gonna to shout to the rooftops. But if you don't agree with it, we no longer have the right to voice our opinion. And this country was founded, founded on the ability, it's a republic, so that the minority can be heard. And if you value that, if you value your own opinion to be heard, then you will value somebody coming and be able to stand on a sidewalk and share their opinion. Whether you agree with the opinion or not doesn't matter. But be able to listen to that opinion so that when you go somewhere else and you have an opinion that maybe somebody else doesn't agree with, you can say, hey, I have my opinion, I have my rights, and I don't think that you should be able to hurt me. And that opinion should have merit, it should have value. And we say the same thing. In our opinion, our standard is based upon God and God Almighty. Because we are created in His image. Now if we're not created in His image, and you have to think about this through your day. If you're not a created being, if you are just uh, evolved from space dust, and you really are just a, a matter of chance, plus, you know, chance plus matter plus time. It's like stuff. 
Science is right. Proven. If if you are just that, then where do you get your value from? Right? Where do you get your value from? But science has proven God and stuff like that. No. Really? So a bunch of fairy tales. I could I could write a book, make up all of that stuff, and in and it would be equivalent a, to the Bible in a ton of years. If everyone spewed that belief and supported it, it would become religion. No, but sir. it would all be made up. I've read the Bible. I have done my research, but I also volunteer for Planned Parenthood. I've volunteered with them across the country. I have done my research. I've formed my opinion based on that research, and I have decided that I think it's my choice to do what I want with my body. And I right. can't have and we agree. the government. So, we agree. Oh, great. So you can do whatever you want with your body, but the baby inside your body, you have no rights to. But it's my so wait, I, creation. I don't know it's if you guys have talked about it's creation. Not, it's what about rape? What about rape? Like... Let's say I go and rape a girl and get her you should put You should be put to death. Yeah, not, the not the baby. Not the baby. So the, the baby didn't do anything wrong. So you like the baby when it's in the body, but once it's out, you don't give a How shit. Do you, you can go adopt where, where did you get that out of me telling you that you should be put to death for raping a woman? Does that not okay, indicate well, that I care for the woman? Well, Does that baby. not indicate that I hate the fact that the evil is done? See, you've taken something and you have this presupposition in your head and you jumped right to it. Sir, I run a ranch for young men just like you so that you might be raised up and have value and advantage over somebody else that okay this is what it, right but you jumped right to it out, you jumped like, right to it that's what I'm saying so I okay and, and all of my brothers and sisters in Christ value all life we help women in need we help children in need in fact the Bible tells us he commands us to do that very thing he says pure and undefiled religion is this you've read the Bible what does James 1 27 say Right. That's why reading the Bible does no good unless you're willing to submit to the Bible. James 1.27 says this, Pure and undefiled religion is this, to help orphans and widows in their times of distress and to remain unstained from the world. Do you legally support the banning of abortion? Yes. So then, legally, how do you plan on supporting the babies that are born? Abortion. Legally, the church, the people, the men and women of but it Christ. Doesn't. It can't. It, no. They don't have the capacity. What about yes. like yes, thousands we do. of kids in foster care who are now, being abused? It's and, not working. What about the thousands of people in foster care that are being abused? That's, what that's, about those that's awful. That's terrible. Right, it is yeah, awful, so but how that's you right. exactly like what's going to happen. Why is God not saving right. them? Why is yeah. God not saving them? Because God uses you and me. Why aren't you saving them? But He doesn't. Like yes, he does. He uses you and me. That's why we're here today, because we want to get that information out there. It is, again, wicked that we have a foster care system that abuses children. And the foster care system itself is set up to abuse children. It takes children. You want to know what's going on right here in your state. We're right here in your state. The CPS system is so corrupt and so bad that it takes good men, good men, and good women to stand up and help these children. And that's why we're here. Well, we want to get there? this information out. We are there. Wouldn't it be easier to why can't we do both? Like make people understand? Oh, you why can can't do we do both? both? That's why we're here. Also, we want to do both. Right? We want to help you. you. We want to help these children. Well, like, we, if you support right, the ban of abortion God. through law, I'm, what I'm, law do you support that also I'm, helps the babies that are that, then born? Okay, because so you're going to have a spike in population, which is going to affect the economy. It's going to affect the right. food. It's going to affect the. It's going to affect standard. everything. You're right. So how do you but plan it's, it's going to start by too? it's going to it's going to affect our mental state first. It's going to say that murder in all cases is unjust and wrong. We're going to we're looking at equal justice across the board from the, from the preborn from the moment of conception to the moment of natural death you don't have the right to take the life of another person Mental state doesn't save lives. No, 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 what no, that's what I'm saying that plans ahead again okay so so we want we want equal rights for all people now when it comes to supporting people it's you and I I don't want to look to the government to support you okay I want to help educate you to support yourself and to support your family and to do it rightly and in that as I raise up these young men around me to do the very same thing they're grabbing up orphans and widows and doing the very same thing and it compiles and it grows and it multiplies and it does all these wonderful things that it was designed to do what we've done in America and across the world is we've said I don't have time I have my cars my boats my vacation my retirement I have all these things and I don't have time to pick up 
orphans. I don't have time for that. I'm going to pay the government out of my money to take care of something I don't want to create time for. This young man's a foster child. Okay? We absolutely, absolutely hold to what the tenets of Scripture said. We don't just read a book and go, that was great, now I don't agree with it. We live out what God has told us in His Word. And if I do it, and I teach him to do it, and I teach you to do it, and I teach him to do it, and I teach him to do it, then we are all responsible the way God designed it, personally responsible for my own sin and for helping those in need. I'm not going to pay somebody else to take care of that problem. See, but not everyone's going to be, that's not realistic. Right. Like, you can't but plan on something that's just like based off of, well, hopefully, if everyone right. does it. So, what you're saying is. why government what, systems right. are in place, because not everyone is going to be able to do that. Right. But what you're saying with that is no matter what happens, no matter what happens, there's always going to be this problem. There is going to be this problem. It's human so, nature. So, why should you care at all? Well, you should care at all because there's systems that you right. can. Help you that. just said that the systems doesn't don't work. Well, I'm saying that the systems, if you implement a ban on a person, right. then you're saying you're saying that you shouldn't have equal rights. You should. If we're okay, going to do that, a handicapped guy shouldn't have the same rights as me because Why? he should be boosted because he can't work. He can't do these things. But so he he's got equal rights. Equal he's rights got the equal rights to body. life. He's got equal rights to everything else. Now, yes, we should help him in, in all these things to help him have a decent life. But he's got equal rights with you. Nobody can just go murder him because he's in a wheelchair. No, but nobody, that's already Nobody law. can go beat him then, down. Right. And we're saying it's already in law. So let's make that equal law. Yes, but the, this isn't like what... <laughs> an abortion is a clump of cells. It's not. That's not a clump of cells, sir. That? That's not a clump of cells. Where'd you get the picture? From a trash can. This baby was taken out yeah, of a trash can in Texas. Uh, go to Center for Bio Bioethical Reform, CBR. It's uh, located in Washington. Is and that like? Is that a private institution? Is that a government system? Is that? It's a private institution. So, do they support? your ban on abortion yes so why would it not be a biased picture is why not every you, is not every not picture biased picture? well no that's really why there's unbiased news sources oh come on there's no unbiased news sources you can't yeah. you can't say that that's why everybody everybody is biased right. you're biased i'm biased but what what matters in that is where is that bias coming from we are saying, and, and I know it's, it's hard for you to see this, but we are saying that this baby had equal value with everybody else. What you're saying is that baby doesn't have equal value. Well, I'm saying that that baby is, you don't know the story behind it. It doesn't Sometimes matter. It would be better. If that baby was taken out of a dumpster because a mother killed that baby and the Planned Parenthood that killed that baby disposed it into a dumpster and somebody went and retrieved it out of that dumpster, I, with a broken arm. And I'm just saying, you want to go to the hypotheticals? Fine, we'll just keep it on the hypothetical level. If that baby was murdered by abortion, did somebody take away its rights? Okay, can I ask you that? You're not answering so the question. Okay, yeah, I'm just going to answer your question with another question. Okay. Because I'm kind of stuck up on a little <laughs> further back in your statement. Huge difference but is... Me Are you sure that like that was a legal abortion that was tossed in a dumpster? Because I don't think it's legal to dispose of biohazards into normal. This dumpsters. was back in the 80s. Oh, so that's an right? old, old yeah. picture. Yeah, but these other ones, these other ones aren't. This this baby. Yes, you and I both went through that same stage, yeah. and that same baby will be murdered by its mother today, four thousand times today. Babies like that will lose their lives. So. So does that baby that doesn't even have a brain yet. Does that baby you and I both went through this stage? No, I don't. Both of us. Every human being that has ever walked on fun this planet went through this stage. Are you saying that at some point in our lives we don't have value? Yeah. When is that? When we are When is it okay to kill a baby in a womb? Probably before they are so you're setting so you're setting a, you're setting an arbitrary standard that's your standard if somebody else comes up with another standard is that okay isn't it already the law no 
Are you sure? It, what? What? No, okay, let me let me back up before I say no. Three weeks, four weeks? No. 